Hello, uh, welcome to the video. Uh, this is second video of the series branch node management. In this video, we will cover uh, branches, loops, nodes. I will give you an intro on that and we will also do plant loop um, supply side. Okay, uh, this we had discussed in the previous video about how AHU will be controlling the uh, how AHU will be providing code to the VAVs. So we have three VAV, three AHUs in total, and we have ten VAVs. Okay, so uh, first we have to uh, make a simple HVAC line diagram. Uh, this is a simple HVAC line diagram for this particular HVAC. Uh, like there are three AHUs. Uh, this is a cooling coil. This means cooling coil of all the AHUs. And so there would be three cooling coils here. Uh, cold wa ch chilled water would be coming from uh, three different sources: purchased cooling, district cooling. Uh, there would be a small, uh, a small constant COP chiller. Uh, we'll name it BB chiller. And then there would be a big electric chiller, big chiller named big chiller and these three would be providing uh, chill water to these three different AHUs. Um, these two chillers baby chiller and big chiller uh, co a cooling tower will be connected to these two uh, to serve as a condenser for these uh, chillers. So uh, this is a simple uh, HVAC diagram. Uh, this we have to convert it into a um, energy plus line HVC line diagram uh, so that we can work further uh, we have uh, after converting that we will get this uh, something like this um, now I will tell you about uh, what are loops and what are branches before we start uh, loops are actually high level construction objects in energy plus loops are the path which uh, through which the working fluid it can be anything it can be uh, air, it can be uh, water, it can be glycol, it can be any liquid uh, which which is circulated uh, which is circulated in a path that path is actually called loop uh, that can be a plant loop this uh, the plant means um, chillers and it can be a condenser loop uh, which has condenser and chillers in that and it can be an air loop air loop is actually the path in which air flows inside our zones so here uh, if you want to see which is a loop uh, a loop this whole system this from here this comes under a condenser loop this whole comes under chill water loop and every loop can be broken into two um, half loops now one is called supply side and then another is demand side supply side uh, like if we make a line here uh, this part would be called supply side or condenser loop supply because uh, cooling tower is providing uh, is supplying a, a chilled water to these chillers so this would be supply side and this would become the demand side why demand side because uh, these components demand um, any fluid while in chilled water loop uh, this part will become supply side because these chillers and purchased cooling district cooling would be providing chill water to uh, these AHUs AHU cooling coils and this would become demand side this would become supply side here uh, this would become demand side and this would become supply side so okay branches branches are uh, these are mid-level construction objects in energy plus these are segments of different uh, loops so and branch has uh, nodes on the both sides on the starting and the uh, end points so from here to here this would become one branch this branch would have this as a starting point this as an end point starting is uh, this is how we decide the starting this is according to the uh, movement of fluid so more water would be flowing like this so this would become the starting point of district cooling and this would become the uh, end point we will not say end point we will uh, use node from now so this would become the starting node and uh, end node and so this branch would have um, one equipment equipment would be district cooling purchase cooling and two nodes 
Okay, now uh, as we are uh, we are confident upon the loops and on the branches, uh, we'll start making uh, these loops uh, inside the energy plus. We'll start with this uh, chilled water loop. We'll first make a supply side and then demand side, and uh, then afterward we'll make a condenser loop, both supply side and demand side. So in this video, uh, I'll just cover the supply side.